Hi, I'm Michael O'Hanian, Client Technology Specialist from Dell. I uh, got a new device in the other day. I'm really excited to show it to you. I got in the uh, new Dell 14-inch portable um, display, the C1422H. Um, let me get it out here for you. I've got it in a backpack. Let me show you the reveal. This is actually kind of nice. It comes in this uh, uh, little um, sleeve in here. Very um, thin, nice, but soft. Gives it some padding. Uh, but this is it. This is the uh, C1422H portable um, display. And, you know, first thing you can recognize that this thing is super, super thin. Um, it's very, very light. It's about a uh, one point or we have 1.3 pounds or 0.59 uh, kilograms in, in weight. So super thin, uh, super light. And it's got this little nice uh, thick stand um, here. Um, but before we kind of get into digging into the product and, and what it does, let's really position it of who is this built for, right? Who was this designed for? Um, and it's really for the people that don't have your traditional um, office space, your traditional work area um, that is always changing and always moving. Um, there was a research done by the John um, Petty Group uh, that talked about um, uh, dual displays versus single displays. And what they found in the research is uh, employees that have dual display are between 20 and 30% per more productive. Uh, than employees with a single display, um, which I think those those numbers are probably low. Um, you know, dual display is, is a whole lot of benefit. But, you know, you think about those folks um, that are, say, road warriors, um, the ones that live on airplanes um, and live in a, a hotel room uh, just about every, every night that, um, you know, one hotel is different from another and different work locations. I, I don't have that um, luxury of having dual displays. I just have my notebook display. Well, this is really where that address it, giving that type of user a, a second display. Um, you know, I lived that lifestyle for a long time. It, it is it is brutal, right? You get into uh, a different hotel, you're at the airport, uh, maybe you're lucky enough to get into um, an area that you can get a, a cubby. Um, just having that second display makes a world of difference when you're trying to uh, complete your work. Uh, another group of users uh, that is this is really big for uh, are folks that are in sales um, or customer service, uh, even claim agents, uh, anybody that works one on one uh, with another person. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, maybe you have something you want to show somebody. Uh, I'm in sales and I want to show them the new uh precision notebook right and show them some of the the specifications on it and i say hey, here come look at my screen and we're both kind of crowded trying to look at it um for those type of users right i've got this right i can connect um uh, to my notebook and put this in front of my end user right as i work on uh, you know the presentation on this side and broadcast it over here so people don't have to crowd around right give them their own personal space um and personal viewing um uh, situation. Another one would be, um, you know, students or, or even teachers. Let's, let's address students first. Uh, you think about college students, maybe even high school students, but, you know, that I'm not living in any single classroom. I'm going uh, to different lecture halls, to different classrooms. I may be working in a library, uh, maybe in my dorm that have very limited space, right? This is another great device to be able to um, give to them that they can have that dual display, um, but yet not have to worry about weight, uh, size, or, or things like that. Um, students are, or teachers are another group um, this works really well with. And again, it's almost back to that sales or, or customer service or that one-on-one, -on -one, right? As a teacher, uh, you may have uh, parent-teacher conferences and rather having the, uh, uh, you know, parents get around the uh, your notebook, you can kind of put this in front of the parents and kind of review the the student's history, um, you know, even working one on one with the student, being able to like, give them their space and, and go one on one with that. Um, so those are some of the major categories um, of users that this is really, really addresses. So let's take a deep dive and, and take a look into this. I shouldn't say deep dive, but a, a quick overview. And what you could see right uh, to start off is it, it does have the stand right that I can adjust it all the way to the flat. Um, so depending on your viewing angle that you want, you can really adjust this very nicely. Uh, one of the things I really love about this um, is it has two USB-C connectors, one on uh, this side and one on that side. 
Um, this is a USB-C. This is um, with alternative mode uh, display port 1.2 on here with power pass through. Okay, what does all that, that jargon mean? Um, it means that uh, instead of carrying around something like this, you know, an, an additional AC adapter like you would with your notebook to power the display, uh, the power actually comes through the notebook into this display. So all I have to carry around for this monitor is a, is a cable. You know, one side or you know, the cable supplies the um, the video to the display itself, and it also supplies the power to the display itself. So one thin little cable, right? And again, you think about it. I'm a nomad, right? I'm traveling around. I don't want to carry more um, big bulky items. I want something very very thin, and I don't want to have another AC adapter I have to look around for. So. Um, really ideal for those those nomad type of uh, of users. Uh, but again, I said I've got two of those ports, one on left and one on right, and um, you'll really love this. And the reason why I say that is, you think about it. You know, if I'm getting into a hotel room and I'm not quite sure what my desk area is going to be, I mean, it could be a table like this. It could be a small little nudge right of a of a table that they give you sometimes. Um, you know, sometimes I want it to be on this side of my notebook. Right. Uh, other times I need the display to be on this side of the notebook. Well, having a, a that um, USB-C port on both sides, it really helps you with that kind of you know, making sure the cable is long enough for this awkwardness that you may have to position it in. Um, you will really love um, that feature of having it on both sides. We also have a few other ports um, on here. On this side, we've got a volume up and a volume down. And we even have a, a low blue light uh, button on here. If you're not familiar with uh, uh, low blue light uh, displays, uh, admit a um, blue, right? And um, the color blue itself is really close to the UV spectrum of light, um, just like you know, low blue light is, is, or blue light is normal. It's the same same uh, light that's produced by the sun, uh, but the problem is our eyes can't filter that, right? That's what staring at a screen all day gives you that, that ah, my eyes are, are burning, right? Um, so you can actually select that button to turn on the uh, low blue light that filters out a lot of that harmful blue um, light rays uh, in the system. So you can work a little more comfortably. Uh, on the other side, we do have a, a power um, on button um, beside the uh, USB-C connector on there. Um, but very, very simple, right? Very um, uh, compact unit. But let me kind of show you, right? Um, over here, I've got a Precision 5560 um, a notebook. I'm running Windows 10 on it. And when I say uh, hooking this device up, I'm going to simply plug it into the USB-C connection here. I am going to plug it into the USB-C. I'll plug it all the way over here. And it takes just a second for it to recognize. You can see, you know, the uh, system got hit with the power. Um, so you saw the kind of the boot up there. And um, in just a second, it's going to recognize it. And what you'll see is my display pop on display I'm sending on here. Now there's two ways that you can do this. I kind of alluded to this earlier. Um, you can do it mirrored. And mirrored meaning um, what's on this display is exactly what's on this display, right? And that's perfect for those one-on-one -on -one situations where I'm presenting to somebody, trying to show somebody uh, something on the screen, or you can do extended displays, which that really makes it two displays, right? I've got a display here and I got a display here and they both show different things. So I can drag an item from one side of the display um, to the to the other, right? And that's ideal when you're when you're working. Uh, so very very nice. Um, the other thing I talked about um, the students and teachers. Uh, I know um, you know a lot of times when you talk about uh, education, uh, we're not always Windows users in that environment. We are uh, Chromebook users a, a, a lot of times. So um, you know my curiosity is is well, does this work with Chrome? Uh, I kind of breezed through our literature on this. Uh, I didn't notice anything about what OSs are supported in it, but I'm not much of a, of a read the instructions. I'm more of a, a dig in and try it. So I did, right? I went and grabbed, I've got a, a Latitude 7400 uh, running the Chrome OS. I mean, this is a higher end Chromebook. This is a, an enterprise class um, Chromebook, really, really nice. Uh, but nevertheless, it is, is Chrome. So I said, well, does that work on Chrome, right? Let's go give it a try. Right? Go ahead and plug it into the side. The USB-C is on this side. Go ahead and hook it in. And again, it just takes a second. The monitor received the power. You saw the kind of boot up. 
and then all of a sudden it's going to pop up and you're going to see the uh, Chrome uh, OS on here. And again, I tested this out. It's really nice. You can do both um, mirrored where it's both the same and as well as extended where I've um, basically got two to displays on there. So uh, my testing here, the Chrome works um, with no problems. I didn't have to load any drivers. I didn't have to load anything on. I just plugged it in and it, and, and it worked. So uh, hopefully you found this useful. Again, my name is Michael Ohanian, client technology specialist. Uh, with the review of the Dell 14-inch portable monitor, the C1422H.